But I'll tell you, there's a lot of, you know, get rich quick and a lot of, you know, here's what you need to know and a lot of, a lot of almost hubbub around this seven figure MSP thing. And I'll cut to the chase and save you from a lot of it. It's hard work. I'm Steven Taylor, this is Weekly ST. For the last 12 years, we have been building our own $7 million, seven figure MSP. Uh, and I share how we've gotten here and all the tips and tricks every single week. There is a lot of talk, um, attraction and headlines around the seven figure MSP in the industry, right? Uh, and I think it's, it is an important milestone, right? A business that is, you know, at least generating a million dollars in revenue. And then you can look at the seven figure moniker as, you know, a measure of profitability later on as a business grows. Super important, you know, um, maybe um, threshold to break is, you know, getting to a million dollars in revenue. Uh, and it takes more time than I think uh, our, our society is, you know, alluding to, right? Everyone's looking for the get rich quick schemes and the, you know, do it super fast and the, you know, hockey stick of growth and valuation and everything else. And not a week goes by that we're not reading in the forums or Reddit or the Facebook groups about, you know, a brand new MSP, just got my first customer, now what do I do? And uh, for those of us that have been doing this for a while, you know, it's a bit disheartening, right? I, I appreciate the popularity of the industry and yet I feel, gosh, is that really doing our fellow customers a disservice when somebody's, you know, selling and, and uh, advertising themselves as an MSP and they're kind of asking, what is it they need to be doing with these customers? Uh, I find that very challenging. And, and again, I think the you know get rich quick or the you know hyper growth. One of the biggest things that I think everyone needs to know, and, and those of us who have been doing this for a while understand, is these are not easy businesses to lead and manage. It is a very tough industry to be in. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. Yes, it's growing. Yes, there's a lot of good, uh, and yet it is hard work. Uh, and I just don't know that everyone sees it that way. And, um, you know, I think there's a lot of, um, growth to be had there again is a lot of good in this industry. We've certainly seen it in our 12 years. Um, but it is not just a place for the, you know, get rich seven figure, you know, multimillionaire, bop, 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 right. That, uh, we so commonly see, uh, on social media and in videos and everything else. Um, you know, in our 12 years now, you know, literally getting to, you know, the $7 million mark of seven figures, right. It has been hard work and it is very much because of the team that we have here doing their best every single day for our customers. Um, and it is not something that has happened overnight or without a ton of challenge, issue, headache, you know, all of the above. Uh, and so uh, this is kind of maybe my reminder to myself and to the industry that this doesn't happen overnight and you've got to set goals and you've got to work hard every single day to get to this place. And if you're not willing to do that, uh, then these courses, this education, these tools and everything else that's out there, you know, is not going to help you, um, do the work. If some of these places aren't doing what we do correctly, they're giving the industry and us a bad name, right? you shouldn't be practicing and learning on your first customer, right? You kind of need to have some of this stuff figured out or just go in as I'm an IT guy and I can really help, right? That's fine. But to, you know, be marketing and advertising and saying that, oh, we're doing managed services, we're protecting all of your cybersecurity, but then asking the question, how do I actually do this? I just don't think that's fair to that customer and to the industry. You know, and that's what maybe some of my hesitation.